Hey everybody, it's Chad here, your Thursday guy for FT Roll M. I hope everybody's been having a good week so far. Um, so this week's topic is on our earliest remembrance of, I guess, um, our first trans experience. Um, so I'm gonna throw back to when I was real young. Clearly I was oblivious to what, you know, gender really was at the time. Um, but I knew what right and wrong was. So, um, I guess the biggest things that I would do when I was little, uh, I had a lot of babysitters growing up. Uh, my dad worked at night at the time. My mom was working on her doctorate and teaching for that university as well. So, I mean, um, I was stuck with babysitters at night a lot, a lot of the time. And um, what I would do, especially during bath time, I would push my hair up really far here and then kind of lay it flat and I would say, hey, do you think my hair looks good like this? Or hey, does this look like a guy haircut or like, you know, little things like that. And they'd always say, oh yeah, it looks good. You know, you look good. Okay, now wash up, you know, all these things. And I just remember that felt really good that I'm saying that I looked nice with that hairstyle. And um, there is also this show on Jerry Springer, this episode where um, it was these females that really deep inside were very feminine. But on the outside, they look butch and almost more like a guy than a girl. And I just remember watching this, and in the beginning of the show, it was like maybe 15 girls that were going to be part of the show, and 30 people walked out, 15 being actual guys and 15 being these girls, and the audience would have to vote, girl, guy, you know how they get, like the audience, audience gets real rowdy. And at the end of the show, you know, the girls were just transformed, uh, just incredibly beautiful and they felt very confident in themselves and I would kind of play that game but the opposite <laughs> and so um, I still do this to this day I brush my teeth at night while peeing like right before going to bed and I just remember I'd like I'd be on the toilet I'd be brushing my teeth and then inside my head I'd be like all right audience is this a guy or a girl and I also wore hats to bed a lot of the time too and I'd kind of style my hair up, you know, I like wouldn't be able to see it. And um, I would pop in front of the mirror and then I'd say, the audience says boy. And I mean, I don't know, it's kind of ridiculous looking back at it and it makes me laugh. Because um, like I said, like at that age, I mean, being seven, eight years old, it's not like I was thinking, oh, like I'm transgender. I was just doing these things because it made me feel good about myself. And um, the thing with growing up is, I mean, it definitely... The, you know, the factor of who your family is, where you grow up, all that nonsense, kind of determines what you learn. And I knew growing up that that wasn't the right thing. You know, I was, I was born this way, that was the way I was, that was the way it has to be, that's it. But I would play these games with myself and do these things and I just felt so happy. And I had to hide it because I was just taught that it was wrong to, I guess, feel this way or to be different. Um, especially in that matter. Um, but so I would definitely say those are my first experiences really knowing something was up. You know, a young age, oblivious clearly to anything going on, but doing those things just made me so happy. And at a young age too, I think it's incredible. And now I like, I'm very close with my mom now and whatnot, and we'll share stories. She'll even throw some out there too that I don't even remember. And you know, it makes sense, you know, this wasn't a phase. This really has been me. And um, so yeah, I guess those are some of my early experiences knowing something was up. And um, so yeah, I hope everybody has a great week, um, has a good weekend, and I will see you next Thursday. Have a good one.